Hey guys, so I've gone ahead and created a new Blank Ionic 3 application using the Blank template. And as you can see, we only have one page available in this template. So we're going to want to do three things here. The first thing that we want to do is just change the background color of this page from this white to another color. And then the second one will be to use a gradient as a background color. And lastly, will be to use an image as a background for this page. So let's go ahead and start off by using a new or a different background color. I'm going to head over to our home.scss file. What we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to target ion content and change its background color. So we need to type in ion content and then set its background by simply typing background and then defining our color. So I've already chosen my color and I'm quickly just going to press command V on Mac or control V on Windows to paste and then type in exclamation mark important and close that. And if I press save, you would notice that our page then becomes this purplish color. Cool. That's the first one done. Let's now move over to having a gradient as a background. I'm going to comment out this code that we just wrote by simply highlighting it and pressing command on the Mac and the forward slash button. Let's go ahead and create a new class and we're going to call this class BG. This will be the class that we'll be using for our gradient. Now, there are two types of gradients that we can use, either a linear gradient or a radial gradient. So we'll first start off with the linear gradient. So to do that, we need to type in background and then say linear gradient. Now within the linear gradient, we can use the gradient in four different kind of ways. We can either use it starting from the bottom or from the top or from the left or from the right. You'll see what I mean shortly. So let's start off with the bottom. So we'll simply just type in there two and then bottom comma declare our first color. I'm going to use that purple color that we used before. So I'm just going to press command V just to have some more space. I'm quickly just going to hide this and the percentage of this color that I want to use. I'm just going to say zero percent and press comma. And then let's define our second color. I'm quickly just going to use a simple one, which is white hash FFF. And for this white color, I want to use a hundred percent. So I'm just going to say hundred percent. And let's uh, close that. Let's press save. Let's head to our home.html file. And then here, let's just call in the CSS rule we just wrote. So under ion content, I'm going to say class is equals to BG, our class we just wrote. And let's save that and see. And as you can see, we have our gradient. Now let's go ahead and just play around with the other, uh, let's say three properties that we can also still use. So remember I said we can use bottom and also top and left and right. So let's see how it looks as uh, from the top. So I'm going to type in the top, save. As you can see, and let's say uh, left. As well as right. So there you go, guys. Feel free to just play around. Uh, with all those properties and colors and then see how far you can get. Now let's have a look at the radio gradient. So I'm just going to remove linear here and then just type in radio. Now the radial gradient is defined by its center. So we can be using uh, from the right or from the top or from the bottom. So let's just go ahead and just remove all of that here and let's click on save. And as you can see, we have our radial gradient focused from the center. So guys, feel free to play with the gradients up until you achieve your desired effect. Next, let's go ahead and then put in an image as our background. So I'm just going to go ahead and comment out this code once again. I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call this class BG image. And within this class, 
I'm gonna reference the image that we wanna use as our background image by typing in background image and then specifying the URL. So I know that my image will be sitting under our assets in a new folder called IMG, short for image, and the file will be called background.jpg. So let's just go ahead and type that out quick. Cool, so shortly we need then to just create this new folder called image under assets as well as put in this background image. We'll do that shortly. So I'll just close that, let's go to the next line. Here we don't want our background image to repeat. So we're gonna say the background repeat and say no repeat. Next, we're gonna want to position our image in the center. So we're gonna say background position and they say center. Lastly, for our background size, we're going to want to contain it. So we're going to say background size and say contain. Cool. Let's go ahead and then put in our image in our application. But first of all, under assets here, I want to create a new folder called image. So I'm just going to click on assets and right click and say new folder and call it IMG. And then I'm going to drag my image into this folder like this. I'm just going to close this Explorer window once again. With that done, I'm just going to save this quick and then navigate to my home.html file and then change this class under ion content from BG to be BG image and say save. And as you can see, guys, we now have our image as our background image for this particular page. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.